Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Needham Market. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you happen to be watching this. Welcome along to another ground topping video and we are back at Needham Market 3G facilities over there. First video went down quite well showing the where the reserves are playing, but tonight we're here for the main attraction, the first team. Um, highlights of the game will be in the description below. There'll be another separate video, but this is purely for ground hopping fans uh, all around the country. And I think anyone will say that whenever they come to Needham Market nowadays, there's always something different here. <laughs> it changes on a regular basis, and latest improvements have been made. You can see the hub there now. Unfortunately, last time I was here, um, the hub wasn't quite open and available to the general public, but we've been assured that it is tonight. And here is the outside of the ground. And admission prices, and I've been told tonight is a fiver to get in, so I'm just going to pay. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Just the one, please. Cheers. Hi, yeah. Hello. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> we are in, paid off fiver, and again, just like last time, this is still the main club's uh, house, which has been used, and as I said, still in pretty good conditions. Is that a foosball table? I think it is. Interesting. And there are the 3G facilities and also the hub as well, which looks open, fantastic. So we're going to get a couple of views from up there tonight. But joined by Adam. Hi, mate. Hello. Just noticed a coffee machine in there, Joe. Did you? I did. Interesting part. If you uh, if you'll be listening to the next to uh, podcast, you'll know exactly why we're talking about that. But yeah, so we've got the sort of place around here which is where the club still serves sort of food and drinks and whatnot and we've got the actual entrance and stuff to the clubhouse and also the toilet facilities and what we're going to do now is a bit of a 360 around the pitch and then once we've done that we will then show you these new fantastic facilities so that pitch is looking absolutely spectacular and even all of this has changed I mean Adam if I can briefly get your opinion it's just it changes every single time doesn't it every time you come here it's incredible I've never been up there have you not I'm sure I haven't no well, way I'm, really I may have done many years ago I, um, I was meant to come up here a few last season but I got right to work. so this is the sort of main terrace part behind the goal um, and it looks like it's had a little bit of work done to it lovely and clean i'll give it that oh yeah definitely well kept and well maintained but what is it really crucial as well is that these parts have now been looked after as well because that was always a bit there was a little bit untidy but yeah you can tell that this is the first first game of the season everything's looking fresh everything's looking proper there's the pitch and there's where we've just come so, that's at the main terrace stand, in this corner, you've got the stand over there, which is where a lot of Needham Market fans go to support their team, and it looks like there's some work going on over there, but we'll go and have a check at that in a moment, but yeah, this is looking really nice. This pitch side fence is quite high, isn't it? It does seem a bit high, um, you know, I mean, if you've got a kid, that might be a bit of an issue, but again, going around the corner now, looking back on the stand. And this looks, well, I mean, this is just standard kind of non-league uh, cover. That's probably it, the best way to describe it, but well, well sponsored out, which is fantastic. A lot of local companies getting involved with Needham Market, which is brilliant. There are some of the Colchester under 23s getting ready for tonight's game, checking out the pitch they're going to be playing on. And here 
areas. In all areas of the beach. And here's the first of the dugouts, which is uh, we'll just uh, skip past the moss on the back of it. That needs a little bit of work, lads. Looks like the press area. I think that's the press area from my memory. Yeah. And we've got the second sort of dugout here. And again, the view. Look back. Oh, that is just that is spectacular. Hell of a view. Hell of a view. So it's going to be an interesting season for Needham Market in general, to be honest. Um, last year was a difficult transition for a lot of teams in this division because for the first team, it was all kind of rebranded and everyone was put into a new division where no one really knew who they were playing against, what the calibre of opposition was going to be. And I remember going along to watch Needham on the first game of last season, or I think it was their first or second home game, and they absolutely thrashed them, uh, Team 7-1. And you just couldn't tell whether or not that was going to be. And that no one knew what was going on in this league no, last season. No, they didn't really have a clue. Um, that's quite um, nice occasionally, though, to freshen things up, but it does make planning difficult. Oh yeah, and you don't really know kind of who you're playing against. Um, you don't really know where you stand. I suppose until you get to around about December, January, when you've played everyone for the first time, it's um, it's a bit difficult to kind of tell the where you really stand. The league stretches uh, into Oxfordshire as well, so there's geographically there's a challenge to know. That's it. And there's the view back on where we just come from, but we'll get another angle of that as well. But yeah, you are right. I didn't even notice it. The fencing is very high, and uh, we're going round to the other uh, other part behind the goal. So you've got down there, you've got Terra standing, and behind here we have a second stand. With some step five clubs that could do with that. Oh yeah, hundred percent. A few of these just dropped in around. Hundred percent. It just improves things. Just gives things a little bit of a nice touch. The Les Ward stand. I'm sure Needham Market fans and officials will let me know who Les Ward is. But uh, it looks primitive from the side, but it does more than the job. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, you know, especially in, especially in, uh, you know, I guess there's points during the season where it starts to get cold and the wind, you know, the yeah. wind and the rain, etc. That would do a very nice job. But uh, there's another view from where we've just come from, and uh, yeah, that part right between the two uh, technical areas, that is the press box. I can just about see that writing on there. A bit more sight than I am. And. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on over here. It looks like a, well, it's been fenced off and there's a goal over there. Two goals over there. So to paraphrase Chris White, this is where goals come to die. Yes. Um, <laughs> if you don't know who Chris White is, I mentioned him in the last video. He's the one who practically inspired this whole series. Funny ass YouTuber, really, really nice guy as well. Go and check him out. He's absolutely he top class. He does love a pun. And, uh, there's a view now of where we're going to go back over there to the new clubhouse and see what's uh, see what's going on over there. And there's a view back if you can just about make that out of the stand behind the goal. But yeah, the pitch is looking really good. Quite impressive with this, to be honest. It's uh, as I said, there's always something happening at Needham Market. They're always making improvements. I think as I said they're they're now keeping this pitch purely for uh, the first team and also reserves team midweek games so the pitch is going to be in a decent condition throughout the year and all of the 3g facilities which are over there and video for that one will be in the link description below uh, is going to be for every other team so the women's team the under 18s all that kind of stuff so mainly main reserve games uh, facilities for clubs to come to and oh yeah play on and massive massive selling point massive selling point for the club here is the stand the main stand that has been here ever since I've started coming to so watch Needham Market? Here many years. It's um, sort of very reminiscent of the Stone Market stand, and uh, I love this like seating arrangement where I mean, you never know from day to day what you're actually going to be sitting on. They're a little like, reserved. I mean, look at that padded corporate seating, non league's not the same anymore, it's not the same, money's ruined the game. Anyway, reserve for some away officials, so you might see some uh, Colchester 
staff and personnel in that tonight. No running, jumping or playing in the stand. I thought that was about the pitch there. I was going to say that might make things a bit difficult later on. Yeah, we're going to go up and have a look at the new hub facility because Needham have spent a lot of money on this new facility and it's it gives you a complete view of not only this pitch but also the balcony on the other side of that gives you a complete look over on the 3G facility as well and at every point I was coming here sort of different intervals last season you could just see the little improvements that were being made you can see the kind of foundations that were being laid down and it's uh, it's very very impressive but this is where we were last time with the 3G pitch and uh, a little sneak peek of that but there it is upstairs the hub bar cafe and bar so I mean this is just this is just incredible so we've got home and away parts looks like the referees changing rooms down here and also the away one down the end there referee one and also the home team down here and then we've got steps and I'm just going to be very careful but yeah it's a shame this place wasn't open last time but I can completely understand why so we've got Boardroom facilities there, and uh, I'm just going to see if I can try and get a little bit of sneak peek inside the boardroom. Oh, very nice, very nice. I'm just going to go through to the cafe and then go out to the balcony. So, especially the moving thing. This is the new cafe. That is looking smart. Looking very, very smart. And out here, onto the balcony, gives us the view of the old facilities. And then, absolutely brilliant view of the new, or of the pitch rather. And then around the other side, you've got the view of the 3G pitch. So, I suppose really you can make your choice of whether or not you want it to be down a down le you know level down there watching the game or you can be up here and get a proper decent view. Quite nice to pay oh. your admission price and then have your choice of how you want to soak through the game. Oh yeah exactly. Nice. But this is uh, this is very very impressive. And uh, oh there is the inside of the boardroom. Oh there we go. Trying to get a sneak peek and I'm allowed in. Hello. Grab grab a port for yourself. Yeah. So that is where we're going to leave this video with a spectacular view of the top of the hub and I hope you've enjoyed this walk around if you have make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave a comment as well about any times you visited Needham Market it's changed a lot in the recent years and I hope you've uh, I know I hope you've enjoyed some of the facilities if you are around the around the area come down and give it a look because it's a fantastic club they really really have made so much improvements they're trying to be as welcoming as possible and you've got as I said the advantage of either being down here where you can watch the proper football down at the grassroots level which is what a lot of us enjoy or you've still got these fantastic facilities you've still got the food down there and all the normal clubhouse over there as well so there's a lot to do down here but yeah as I said make sure you leave a comment leave uh, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video I said subscribe for more stuff and there'll be highlights from today's game on the channel coming up for you very shortly so until we see each other next time as always adios